Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Resiliency Cam, man. We got e Bud in the billion, man. Emmanuel Butler, man. Longtime friend, bro. Brother. Um, <laughs> been knowing you since the second grade, bro. Um, man, just, you know, going back, bro. Um, just thankful to have you tonight, bro. Been waiting on this moment for, you know, a very, very, very long time, bro. Uh, you know, it, it it's cool because, like, you know, like I say, we we... We was talking about this a year and a half ago, bro. And, like, I remember just running into your dad and saying, like, man, we, we came up with this plan. E going to be the first guest. You know what I'm saying? So, for us to finally be sitting here, you know, just God timing, man. How you feeling tonight, E? Bro, I'm feeling good, bro. I'm feeling real good, bro. I appreciate you having me. You feel me? It's a, it's a blessing to be on here. And it is God timing, though, bro. Just like you said, we can get into it a little more later. But Come on. Bro, it's, it's really crazy, bro, how, how God be working, bro. Come it's on, crazy. bro. For real, bro. For real. All God time and man. And man, before we get started, man, we wanted to do something special, man. Shout out to uh Chili Willies over there, man. Uh got your ice cream right here, man. We we excited to try, man. So we're gonna get out of taste, man. And shout out to my dog too, too tough, man. You already know, Trish. <laughs> man, let's try this ice cream, man. Chili Willie. Hey, Willie. We about to tell you what it's talking about right now. Melt on that God. Hey, my dog got a milkshake over there. That's my fault, Willie. I left the ice cream out, man. Man, vegan ice cream. Let's see. Oh, this vegan? Oh, he is. Yeah, this is vegan, brother. So I'm excited. Ooh. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, Willie. Hey, what? <laughs> hey, I need two, three more bites. Hold on. Everything vegan? Even the Oreos? Mm -mm. Regular Oreos, though. Okay, that's what I'm saying. How you get? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep hey, Willie, you, though. man, Keep you did your though. thing on this one, brother. I need this for the. Hey. You did your thing on this. Hey, I'm supposed to be on a diet, bro, but I had to cheat for you today, bro. For real, bro. Man, what you think about that E? Willie, hey, Willie said, make sure you get E Butt's honest opinion, bro. So, what you think about that, uh, brother? Fire, I need mine in the freezer. Please. <laughs> I need it. It's going to sit here and melt. <laughs> hey, got to take that mm. one home, huh? <laughs> man, that, that was a good one right there, bro. Um, Man, like I said, E Butt, man, just going back to uh, second grade with you, man. Uh, Going back to uh, Sabbaths, man, I feel like everybody went there, man, you know? <laughs> like, uh, it was good, man. But, um, you know, talk about growing up on the South Side and that influence, man, because I feel like the blessing that we had, bro, was like, we had, like, going to going back to Sabbaths, we had so many guys to look up to in the right way and the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Um, So much talent around, man. But, you know, just talk about that uh, upbringing on the South Side. Um, The South Side, bro, it was, it was, I feel like, I can compare it to a lot of a lot of tough places around. You feel me? A lot of, a lot of tough places around the world because I didn't seen a lot of stuff that other people described that they didn't seen in the hood. And the reason why I was saying God's so good, bro, and <clears throat> how the timing of everything just play out, bro, is because when you very first asked me to get on here, you feel me? <laughs> the first guest, bro, where I was at, um, mentally, spiritually, just you feel me? I wasn't going. I wasn't. Now I know I wasn't really ready. Like, I definitely wanted to come in here and be the first guest for me just cause right. for the history of everything about it. Right, that's real. But the, the time period between mm, you asking me that and me actually getting on here was so crucial for me to be able to learn some of the things that I've learned, bro, because um, what I've been watching from you, you feel me? Podcast, I really feel like it's a movement, though. You feel me? Like, for real. When people watch this, you have the opportunity to change people's lives, gang. You feel me? So... Um, I ain't really want to get on here talking about, like, I could sit here, bro, and I can tell you about my story, bro. And I can tell you about, feel me, I'm from the hood, bro, like, we grew up, like, feel me, I can tell you the same story that I didn't tell other people, bro. And I can tell you the same story that, you feel me, a lot of people don't heard, bro. Not to discredit it, bro, because I feel like it's motivating, bro, and it's, right. it's done motivated a lot of people. That's real. You feel me? But I feel like where I'm at now, it's much more motivating, bro. It's much more powerful. You feel me? Like Come where on. where I'm at mentally now. You feel me? Where I'm, where my mindset is at now. And <clears throat> like I said, not to discredit it, because you feel me. We can talk about like some specific things that 
you feel me, really changed, you feel right. me, really, That's really, real. really got me to, you feel me, where I'm at on some, or really, but I feel like where I'm at mentally and, and where I'm trying to go, bro, and where God has, has brought me, you feel me, is, is much more powerful, bro, and, and, and much more motivating than, than the story of my past, bro. Man, that, that's real, bro. And, you know, just touch on that, bro. Um, You know, because like you say, bro, to where you was at, to where you at now, what did, what did you feel like you had to go through to get to where you at today? Bro, really life, bro. You feel me? Like wisdom, gaining wisdom. The Bible says <clears throat> the more wisdom, uh, the more grief. You feel me? The more, the more wisdom, the more grief. You feel me? So um, I feel like just going through things, bro, going through life, um, Seeing things, bruh, um, it, it, it's really opened my eyes. And, and most importantly, bruh, getting in the Bible, I should have said this first, you feel me? Getting in my Bible, bruh, and really <clears throat> soaking in the Word of God, bruh, and, and and developing my personal relationship with God, you feel right. me? Really seeing things um, on, a, on, a, on a spiritual perspective instead of a worldly perspective, you feel me? And I feel like that is the main point that, that the main thing that's kind of like, Changed my my entire view, you feel me, of, of life. For Man, real. That's, that's real, bro. And like you said, bro, like I like that you pointed out, like you said, bro, um, just being in a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, like a lot of people like call on them when they need them or call Man. on them, you know, through tough times. And like I heard my pastor talking one time, you know, and he was just saying, like, you know, for you to be in a relationship, he said, when you're in a relationship with your woman, he said, you make sure you call her every night. You make sure, you know, you Man. make her happy. You know what I'm saying? You do all these things for her. He said, why you don't do God that way? Man. <laughs> why you? He, he said, you know, if you only called or showed up one, once every week on Sunday or whatever, mm -hmm. like, and you only tapped in only on that day, like, are you in a relationship? Crazy. It's crazy that you said that, bro, because uh, I went to a church in Chandler, Bethel Church, you know what I mean? And um, the pastor was speaking on how we serve a God. He, it was actually a guest pastor. And he was he was speaking on how we serve a God that's hard to get, that plays hard to get. You know I mean? Like, we, not, we don't serve a God that's just going, okay, like, I'm going to leave you and then I'm going to come back. And then when I need something, you just going, you feel me? Come like, on. no, you're going to have to build time. You're going to have to, you feel me? She bit, like, it, it, it really takes stuff. It takes your time. It takes your effort to build a relationship with God. You feel me? And... For him to give you wisdom, for for you to gain knowledge, and, and it, it takes time, bro. It, ta sure. it takes a time and it takes effort, bro. And it, it's really like building a relationship with with a real human. You know That's what I real. mean? For real. That's real. So let me ask you this, bro. Um, what do you think are ways that can help people build their relationship with God, or what ways did you use, you know, to to build that relationship? I ain't gonna lie, bro. See my story, like how, like so. People would think, like, people that know me would think, like, I always had a relationship with God, you feel me? Because I was born and raised in church. Come on. That's... I was, you feel me? I was, you feel me? I was always in church, like, regardless. But, like, <clears throat> I was, I never really had a, per I never really had a personal relationship with God, you feel me? Like, so, yeah. um, and I really didn't start developing a personal relationship with God until I was in New Orleans, bro. And it all, like, tied, it's crazy, bro, because it all tied into everything that I'm doing and like my vision, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he really like, bro, I'm telling you, brother. So, um, we really started my, like with not even necessarily started my personal relationship, bro, but we really like opened my eyes, bro. I was talking to my dog in New Orleans in a hotel room, my dog, Mitch. Um, I forget bro last name, bro, but, um, Caucasian dude, cool dude, bro. Talking to my dog, Mitch, man. And, um, we was talking about the Bible. We was just talking about scriptures, you feel me? And I ain't really, at that time, like, I couldn't really quote scriptures. Like, I couldn't, you feel me? So right, I'm like, right. I'm just listening, trying to, you feel me? I'm always a person, though, that's trying to, in every situation, bro, I'm trying to gain knowledge, gain wisdom from anybody, bro. You feel me? Sure. So I'm um, just listening, bro, listening to him. And he said, he really said something, bro. It was like a few, it was like a couple sentences he said. I felt like he was damn near attacking me on some shit. You feel me? Like, hell yeah, that, that's oh, what the word like, do to you sometimes. Really do that though. It like, attack you, God. That's, that, Come, on. Bro. <laughs> Come on. And so he was like, yeah, bro. Like, and what bothers me is I see people posting all these quotes, bruh, posting all this stuff, but they're not really in their word every day. You feel Come me? Come on. He was like, but they're not, they're not really, you feel me? They're not, they're not really soaking in the word. And I'm like, okay. 
like he damn near, you feel me? He damn near talking about, like, you feel me? Like, he not talking about me, but he talking about me, though. You feel me? Because I'm one of them people. I'm, you feel me? So I'm, I really start to get in my words some more, get in my words some more. I mean, no, I really start to, to actually, at that point in time, I was listening to gospel music. Right. On a, on a, because, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, before, I, bro, I would listen to that before practice. Bro, I'll come out there and practice different. Before, uh, before, like, um, before I was reading my Bible heavy, I felt like gospel music really, like, Help me build my relationship with God, bro. Because it could, like, bro, music is so powerful, bro. Like, and he also say you got to praise him with tongues, you got to praise him with the words. So just singing gospel, and, finish praising bro, God. Bro, music is so powerful. We mm-hmm. do like we we really praise God. We could praise God through music. You feel me? So, um, <clears throat> I was just listening to a whole bunch of gospel music, bro. And I was in the steam room one day, bro. And my dog, uh, Batamosi, bro. Her, I, I prom, I kid you not, bro. I, I did not know nobody was in the steam room. You feel me? I'm in right. the steam room just listening to gospel music, bro. And um, you feel me? I'm just uh, singing the songs out loud. You feel me? Listen to gospel music, bro. By the most, like I hear somebody like, "Hey, you a uh, so you a believer?" You feel me? I'm like, "Hold on, you feel me? I can take my beats." I'm like, hold on, you feel me? like so you a believer? I'm like, yeah. You feel me? So we start chopping it up, chopping it up, and then um, he just encouraged me to start reading, reading, and then. The last thing that really encouraged me to really get in my Bible, bro, is I started um, watching Mike Todd, bro. I just came across one of his videos, bro. And I started watching him, and I started the series uh, Crazy Faith. Okay. And I finished the Crazy Faith series, bro. I started taking notes on Like I was taking notes every, you feel me? Like, I was really in class on street, you feel right. me? Like, taking notes every every episode, really, you feel me? And then um, I heard him say one episode... Um, he talked about spending time with God. He talked mm-hmm. about how you need to give God at least 15 minutes a day. You feel me? And so that's when I really start reading the Bible. And I mean, I can sit here and say, like, as soon as, like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be lying if I said, as soon as I started reading the Bible, I was just getting it. You feel me? Like, it took time, bro. Took that's time. what I'm saying. Take time to build your relationship with God, bro. Like, Come on. I had to read the Bible. And, there, bro, there would be some nights where I'm reading, I'm like, bro. I don't even understand none don't of it. Understand like, bro, it's it, right. a whole bunch of names. You feel me? I'm not, man, you feel me? Right. I don't understand nothing that's going on. And so I had to really, like, like really get in the Bible, really continue to read it, even though, like, do, like really, you feel me, seek God's wisdom for him, for him to give it to me and seek knowledge for him to give it to me. You feel me? So. That's real. And, you know, it's like in Proverbs, like he say, like, seek me and I'll give you wisdom and knowledge. You know, and also, too, bro, like, a thing that you point out is, like, like you say, like, you got to, but with the Bible, like, you got to really spend time. And, like, my brother Tavon told me, you got to rep it over and over. He said, like, bench press. He's like, Natrell, when you go to the weight room, you don't just hit the bar one time and rack it, right? Yeah. You hit it over and over and over. He said, that's how I need you to read this Bible. I'm like, you know, just just that right there, bro. Like, he said, rep it out like bench press. So it's over in your Over and heart. over. So it's in your heart, bro. Like, so, you know what I mean? God can put it on your soul so, so he can seek that heart, wisdom and knowledge. Because I think a lot of people get confused, like, you know... Because, you know, like, with the Bible, like, they think, like, okay, when I read the word, like, God going to come talk to me. Like, I'm going to hear him or no, something. Like, <laughs> no, nah, he talked to you through your spirit. He you talked to you. You know what I'm saying? Like. And 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 what I really, bro, um, like I be saying, bro, I be, bro, I be so observant, bro. Like, I just be trying to pick up on everything in every situation, bro. And so um, <clears throat> what I really, like, in order to, our our job as, as you know, believers um, I like to say believers, bro, because I don't really, bro, I, at times I feel like, and after reading the scripture, I don't remember what book it is specifically, but um, Paul talks about it. He says, um, some say I follow Paul, um, others say I follow Apollos. Um, Paul planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. Right. And the way I took it is, um, as humans often, like, I mean, yeah, like as humans oftentimes, like, we say, I'm Christian, you feel me? I'm Baptist, you feel me? I'm Muslim, I'm I'm this, I'm that. And it's really about, I feel like it's more so about your relationship with God, but where your heart is, your morals. That's bro. real. You feel me? And so um, I got a little bit off track, bro. But but no, I, I, no, I definitely felt like, like, you know, what you was going. And like, I tell people all the time, because like, 
I remember, you know, Tyre, you know, we was talking one night and it was late, like one, two in the morning. And he like, man, why God create all these religions? And I like, I told him like, God didn't do this. He didn't do this. He didn't bro. do that. This, this is man-made. man-made. He, he only, he only made one religion and this, and, and all these other religions are for us to divide, divide bro, to, bro, to not be together. And that's the, you know, that's the devil plan. You feel me? Like he wanted, what he say? I'm here to see, kill and destroy. You know man. what I'm saying? Like, so he still kill, you know what I'm saying? All that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... You know, I tell people all the time, bro, you know, the devil don't want to stick together. That's why so many religions, because then right. you catch people, my religion better than yours. Well, this, you know, better than that and, and stuff, bro, you know. And that's where I, my fault. I caught back, I caught uh, where I was, where yep. I was going to go. But um, I feel like as our, as our, as, um, as believers, bro, our job is to bring people to the kingdom. And it is. it's not, bro, like, and I don't mean that on some forcing, like on some, because I feel like, bro, like we was talking, talking it up. I feel like the only way, you feel me? You can do that. It's through love, bro. Like it is. it's the way Jesus showed us through love, bro, and and through actions, bro, and and through the through the way that you, the through the way that you move. You feel me? And so, um, go ahead. I like it in the Bible how it talks about like. You know, like when you're a child of God, like people can just see it in you. Facts. Like it, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and I'm like. That's what it's supposed to be like. Facts. You feel me? Like when people see you, they should just know that's a child of God. The way, by, like you say, by the way you carry yourself, by, by the way you move, by me? the way you love. And that's why I always catch myself every day like, God, like, help me to love more like you, Father you God. Because I know I'm not there. The me? human in me, bro, I'm like, yeah, God, I don't got that type of love. Like, I, I need swear. you to turn your back for 30 yeah. seconds, God, because I'm about to slap you him. Me? Like, like, nah, like but get wicked, once again, bro. like, nah, for real, just working bro. on self, bro. And then, man, like, E-Man... Let me ask you, bro, because you got a, man, like, you got an amazing story, bro. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, uh, you know, just going back to your past, you know, um, because it is some things that, you know, you know, I definitely, you know, just want to talk about, man. I think are very motivating. Like, just going back to Mountain Point, man, um, I mean, you played on a team where, you know, we had a lot of guys getting D1 offers, things like that. And um, you were blessed enough and fortunate enough to um, get at, uh, you know, NAU. But, um, you know, a lot of people... You know, I knew. I always knew the talent, man. I, I, I always do what you yeah. can do. I seen it at practice. I seen it over and over. To um, just kind of being overlooked, bro. You know what I mean? Like I know junior year was like the breakout for you because I remember, man, them two touchdowns. You know, state semi, state game. You know, like and you know, my dad every day, every time I hopped in the car, he like. Why don't y'all throw eight the ball? Yeah. Why don't y'all throw eight the ball? You know, like yeah, all yeah. the old heads in the crowd just going crazy, like to. You know, going up to NAU, which we were getting in a minute, man. But you know, just talking about that feeling, man. Uh, you know, just being overlooked and uh, you know the hunger that gave gave you. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Back then, at times it could get a little frustrating, but now I'm so appreciative of it Come because on. it's it's all a part of God, bro. Like <laughs> I wouldn't change nothing, not like not nothing that I've been through, not none of the good, not none of the bad, not none of the worst. You feel me? Like that's real. I wouldn't change nothing that I've been through because it's all a part of God's plan. And if I change something. And there's no telling who I would be. You feel That's me? Real. Like I probably wouldn't have the morals that I have. That's I probably real. been. I probably wouldn't be the man that I am. You feel me? Or, or you feel me? Like, like it, it's it's a lot of stuff that could change if I didn't go through some of the stuff that I went through. So, um, I'm appreciative of it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm thankful, bro. I thank God every day, bro, for everything, bro. Cause life's so, bro. Life's so beautiful, bro. Like, just the the gift of life, bro. It, That's it, real. It, you feel me? Like, and. At bruh, go ahead. No, you good, brother. Um, like you say, like right, and that's what like I get that question all the time. Well, what would you change? And I always tell them I wouldn't change nothing, cause then I wouldn't be able to minister. That's this part of my testimony. Man. Why would I change the testimony that God gave to me? You Man. feel me? Like then I wouldn't be able to correct somebody in this situation. I wouldn't be able to tell you how to handle this or to you do that, me? because like, like, like I, I get what you getting, bro, with that underdog, like. I'm gonna ask, like, bro, you know, with that that whole underdog, like, do you think that like help you be humble? And 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 not to say like you you was ever an underdog, like niggas looked at because like we knew what you could do. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. But like just being overlooked to going to NAU and shattering records, bro. Like you know, just talk about that feeling, bro. Just going from like I say, like not really getting the ball to you getting the ball every play. See, bro, like I always like it was never a point in time where I was like. Where I felt like I wasn't him. You no, know you I mean? always. That's why I said. That's like, why I said. You know what I, mean? like, was, I always knew I'm like. You know what I mean? Like, if even even if I don't get the ball thrown at, to me at all, him, bro. They thought you feel know I me. Mean? I'm you know I mean? feel me. So when I went to even before I went to NAU, I told my coach, uh, Coach Plow, bro. 
I texted him. I told him I want to come here and I want to even I want to be the best receiver ever played. And that's I like that's really, like I really meant that though in my heart. Like kids probably be going there saying that and like be. <laughs> I really, like, you feel me? I really meant that. Like, I was going up there with the mentality, like, bro, I'm going to be the best. Like, bro, they, I did feel tried on some, you feel me? I was right. like, bro, they tried me, bro. I'm going to be the best, bro. They tripping, bro. I'm going to be the best receiver ever come through this mother. That's real. It ain't going to back it up, though. Like, not just with the talking, but also the work ethic. Facts. You know, more to just... work more to work than the talk, bro. Like, uh, you feel me? I, they going to let, uh, they going to see for sure. That's for real. For sure. That's real. Was that like, was that like a hard, like, you know, like, cause I, I keep talking about like, you know, going, going from, you know, Mountain Point to NAU, like, was that hard to like balance at times? Like just like being the man on campus, bro? Cause I can only imagine. <laughs> like, nah, man, so I, wanna, um, <laughs> I ain't really like, nah, not, bro. Not, not saying you like on some big headed, but nah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, can yeah, only yeah. imagine nah, the tension. Uh, nah, bro. I ain't even really feel like it was like that, bro. Like, Sometimes the homies would be like, "Ah, oh, bro, you even me, you, you even you, 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 you that, you But I'd be like, "Bro, I, like, nah, I ain't never really feel like that, bro." Like, humble. And I was just, I don't know, bro. I just played it like I always played it, bro. And and I thank God, bro, for for blessing me with that mentality. And like, I was, I was never like, I never really fed into all the, you feel me? So I was the same, like the same dude. Like, I'm only. I feel like I'm only maturing. You know? Right, that's so. real. And then let me ask, what what would you say is like your best moment at NAU? Um, Whether it was best game, best catch? Because I mean, you had so many moments, bro. Like, I feel like every time I looked oh, up, I'm no, like, bro. I hey, <laughs> you hit the dance in the end zone on them real quick. Bro. Like, yeah, I don't even know, bro. I think uh, me and my dogs up there, bro, probably. That's real. Me, like, them, them really my brothers, bro. Me and my dog, Wes, B, uh, Goof, yeah, Cole. Yeah, bruh. Me and my dog's probably the best, you feel me? That's like, real. How was it like having like your your dogs with you and being at home too, bro? Like, I I feel like, you know, that's a that's a great feeling to know like, you know, how important is that, bro? Just to have, like you say, your bros around you, the right people too. Um, that, bruh, they're having the right people around you, just period, just in life, no matter where you Come at, on. just important, bruh. And I mean, People gonna think, I don't know, bro. I don't want, like, that's what, like I said, bro. I don't be forcing the Bible on nobody, bro. Like, like, but people, just, like, but that's just, that's just the way, like, people gonna, the way, the way that I am, people gonna see it, you feel me? That's Through real. me. That's and true. so I read the story of Job, bro, entirely, bro. And just having the right people around you, bro. Like, when he was down bad, how they, you feel me, brought him up, and then it ended up being the youngest to really set him, like, Set him straight and and but how they was all like how he how he was and and how, how all his friends was motivating and trying to pick him up, bro. Telling them, watch your words and and watch the way you like watch yourself, bro. It just shows you how um, having good company around you is is vital, bro. For real, That's, man, make a make a big difference, bro. Um, and then uh, man, um, blessed enough to too, bro. Be able to make it to the league, man. Definitely. Uh, you know, man, talk about that uh, New Orleans Saints thing, man. How was that? Uh, that was a blessing, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Uh, like, um, I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I feel like there's other situations that I could have went to and maybe, um, maybe, I don't know, got affected the team in a different way or, or whatever, bro, whatever right. you could say. But I know God's plan, bro, and I know I know it's never gonna change, bro. And I know everything that I learned in New Orleans, bro, and the type of person, like, bro, that's like I just the story that I just told you, you feel me? That's from New Orleans, you feel me? Like, I would that wouldn't I ain't gonna say it wouldn't happen nowhere else, but it happened in New Orleans, though. Come on, like you and need so, to go through that for real, you feel like me? And whether I was on P Squad, whether I was, you feel me, the number one, like I needed that to happen, bro, because I wouldn't be the man that I am if that didn't happen. So regardless of if I caught a hundred balls or if I caught no balls, bro. I Paul, I needed that to happen though. You feel me? Like I needed, like I, you feel me? So, um, I feel like it, it was a great experience, bro. Um, I feel like it was a great experience. I learned a lot. Uh, also, surrounded by some great people. You feel me? So, some great company, man. Yeah, definitely for sure. <laughs> Drew Brees, Mike Thomas, man, all them guys, man. I'm sure that had to be, you know, definitely um inspiring. Um, man, like just you know being back home, he like 
how's that been, bro? How you been handling that? Cause like I know you, you know the faith, man. Um, was that just tough, bro? Just coming back home and things. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at first, yeah, it was a little tough, bro. Cause it's like, damn, man. Like, whoa. You feel me? Like, oh, you like <sighs> what? And then um, I get home, bro, and then I start to understand why I'm going through some of the stuff that I'm going through, like, and 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 how it's more you. how it's more of a blessing than it is anything else that I thought it was, bro. Come on. And and how I was really able to spend time in my word, bro. Spend time, um, like, yeah, I'm a, I always been working out. You feel me? Like, I'm right. a always have time, like. I'm going to always work out. I'm going to always do that every day, bro. But I didn't I, I didn't know, like, I didn't understand some of the other things that I was gifted with. You feel me? Like, right. I come home and I start getting in the studio. You feel me? I didn't, you feel me? I wasn't going to be on that probably. Right. You, know? you feel me? And people probably, bro. <laughs> it's people I already know. It's people, bro. It's people, bro. It's people like, ah, oh, this nigga, man. What he on? You feel me? He rapping now. He playing. What he want to be? He rapping. He want to be a football player? Like, I'm gifted. I'm just God's son. The most high. Like, y'all tripping. I could be, I could do all things through Christ. You feel me? And they, and, but. Come on. <laughs> either way, though, bro. Like, yeah, bro. I came back home, started rapping. I was able to put in motion what I'm doing now. You right. feel me? With the with the clothing and, and stuff like that. So, um, I ain't going to say that, that, that I want to, because I didn't want to come home. Nah, I'll be lying to you, bro. If come I said on. I want to come home, bro, I was up there trying to, you feel me? Like, I'm never would gone. I ever, bro. But um, having to come home, bro, and 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 uh, taking the lessons that it taught me, bro, and and all the things that, that came with it, bro, as, uh, as lessons, you feel me? Like I said, bro, I feel like, like that's been big. Like I said, that's been bigger, bro. Like God, bro, God's plan. And now, bro, when I when I have the opportunity to step back on the field, bro, and to do what I love, bro, and go even harder. It's gonna be, bro. It's gonna be so much, bro. I think you feel me. It's no Come tough, on. bro. And like, too, bro. Like, with that being said, too, like, cause I want to know too, like, like, do you plan on? Cause I don't know your plans, of course. But do you plan on getting back on the field? Is that the of goal? Course, okay. Okay. Come on, bro. <laughs> Where y'all thought that, bro? Bro, is people really think I quit for, bro? Nah, see me, I no, know, I, I, I know never like, but I'm like, I just gotta ask though. Nah, you I'm feel hip, me? I'm like, hip, for I'm real, hip, I'm hip. I want people to know. Nah, like, yeah, I'm hip. I'm hip, bro. Come on, nah, I'm bro. hip. You, you feel me? me? But like, nah, it's people that really be like, oh, he rapping, bro. He must be quit for, but he fuck like, nah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm just like, you feel me? If I, if I. <laughs> I don't so, really got to do right. too much explaining on that, but yeah, yeah, bro. So let me ask you this too, bro. Uh, what if like you know, cause like with the rapper whole thing, like what what if like teams ain't feeling that though? Like you being a rapper and trying to play ball, uh, or why, like why would they not be? Why would they not? I'm talking about you got to if they ain't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cause I don't, I don't know how that type of stuff works. Like they, I mean, I pray they hear me, and then if they hear me and really not feel me. And I guess they don't feel me, but if they hear me, then they gotta feel me. And I pray they feel me before they hear me. Feel me? <laughs> feel me? But no, hey, that's, that's real talk right there, bro. Like, for real. Cause I'm talking like I'm talking about, bro. Like, cause I, I, I wonder playing, how bro. all that stuff works. Cause I'm like, ego blow. I'm like, bro. I hope like is this age is gonna blow. You can't rap like ego. You can fool, like you gonna bro. blow with the rapping all like you say. Hey, God gifted though for real. No, I for real. I've been good, in the studio bro. with you, so I'm like niggas don't even know he got some heat like. Yeah, bro, God, great. Man, he like, bro, like I was saying, bro, like I didn't been in the studio with you, you know what I'm saying? So like, I know what you got coming, bro. Like, excuse me. Like I was just about to mention, bro, shout out to Chili Willies. I had to get it back on my break, bro. That, hey, that ice cream crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you put your foot in that one, bro, for real. <laughs> Man, but you know, like, like I was saying, bro, you know, I caught myself around the house, like just singing some, hey, I, like I was telling you off camera, like, I'm like, man, I, I shouldn't be listening to people unreleased music, bro. <laughs> Hey, I'm walking around the house singing the That's lyrics and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just singing, bro. Like, and I'm like, man. My brother, like, hey, what's that? I'm like, oh, nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he like, That's hard. I'm like, man, like, you know, so, bro, man, definitely proud of you. know what I'm saying? I just to, you know, that, see this, you know, just see the work brother. ethic, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and too, bro, like, I love, like, a lot of people not gonna understand what you're talking about, bro. 
Like when when they sit down and watch this episode, they're gonna I don't be like, "Expect them to though." Come on, I don't. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't they're gonna be like, to. "Man, why he talking so much about God?" They're probably but why gonna he... look at me like I'm. You feel me? Like I'm. But it's but, cool. Though. But I'm like, you know, they just don't understand, bro. I love him anyway. Come on, love him anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we love him anyway. <laughs> Man, that's that's real talk, bro. And like I say, bro, just to see you working, bro. And like I say, the thing I love the most is that. Like, cause like we was on the phone, you know, on FaceTime, he was like, Trev, God humbled me. I'm like, that's what I tell people. God humbled me, but that's Actually. what I talk about like the most. Like, God had to humble me because when you're not humble, he can't use you. He can't use you at all. You know what I'm saying? Because like, once again, I felt like I knew, I knew everything. I felt like I can do everything on my own. I felt like, but I had to remember, you know, it was never me, Man. you know? And one thing, two yeah. past, bro, go ahead, bro. I was, No, I was just going to say, bro, it's nobody... Above, you feel me? No, like you bro. know, people question God, but like some of the stuff, I'm like, bro, you how can how could that happen, bro? That's number like it's like some things I went through in life. I'm like, that was number God, bro. Nothing but God. Come on, bro. That nothing was that was God. nothing but God, bro. Like, could no human do nothing like that? No nothing, nothing but like. And, and but the thing is though, bro. Like this is what I see, bro. That's why I be saying, bro. I be uh, <clears throat> I be trying to just just pick up on like little stuff, bro. And so when I was in New Orleans, bro. I was in a, I was in a hot tub, bro, and I heard Drew talking about he read, um, like he was read, like he read other religions books, like you feel me. And in my head, I was like, damn, like he really reading other religions books, like. But I was like, bro, that's so smart, you feel me? Because look, if I'm a, a believer, you feel me, and and I read the Bible, in order for me to truly understand. Someone, bro, I have to really know where they're coming from and really understand what they believe, bro. And so, bro, I got, I really got a, like, one of my best friends, fam, like, one of my, one of my closest homies, bro, is right. atheist, you feel me? Right. Um, my cousin, atheist, bro, I was just talking to him the other day. And it's not on some, I don't be talking to him on some, bro, why you, you feel me? Like, what right. you, no, we ain't no, judging. it's just we ain't passing, like, I really, right. like, when I ask you why, like, I really want to know why, like, you feel me? Like, what is it that you've been through that, that, that causes you to, you feel me, like, Cause I, cause I could tell you like what I've been through, you feel me, and give you examples of my life on some, and it's not on some compare and, and contrast or nothing. Like I really just want to have an understanding of right, that's where real. you coming from on some shit. You know what I mean? Like, real. You know what I mean? Like for real. Though. And, and that's a great thing. Like you, like you pointed out, you can't understand somebody unless you know where they're coming from, bro. Like you, you know why they think the way they think. You know why they act the way they act. You feel me? Like that's the only way to truly know why and to truly, you know, change people, help people, things like that. Like be able to relate. And the thing I was going to say, bro, the thing I love the most is that you came home, bro, and you just doing something positive, bro. Like you, you got into the music. You still working out because like, you know how this football shit get. Like I didn't see people come home and yeah. We don't see them no For more. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, they hiding and they hurting For sure. because of that game. But it's like, bruh, Never. if anybody was looking, like, I tell the homies all the time, like, if anybody was expecting you to be something, counting on you, I think it's wrong, dog, wrong, and they don't yeah. love you. Yeah. And if yeah. they judging you for not making it or whatever you doing, that's not real love. You mm -hmm. feel me? Because yeah, I'm going to support you, you know what I'm saying, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just... Real genuine love, bro. So like I said, bro, it's just good to see you just, you know, just working hard and, you know, just Appreciate being in the that, studio. Man. And then, man, like you say, like, just, like, being gifted, bro. Um, But why music, though? Like, bro, I always, bro, I always, I always, I always uh, fuck with music, bro. I always, like, like love music. You feel me? Had a, had a passion for music. And so it just didn't really, like, I never really, like, pursued it or, like, really, like, took the time to, you feel me? I never... And while I'm at home, bro, when I got home, all I was doing was like, all I'm doing is working out. And I mean, like, I can't work out 24 hours. Like, you feel me? I'm going to be, I'm not trying to be <laughs> bodybuilder. <laughs> nah, right. but, I play football. You feel me? But nah, like, I mean, I can't like, so I, I do got a little bit of free time. And so I was like, bro, let me try to write some, write some, you feel me? And, or go in the studio and make something, or even me do something. And right. then um, I just started really like developing a, a passion for the art, bro, and a respect for the art of music more so than, than I did, bro. And uh, shit, I fuck with it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Man. I, I like making music, bro. Man, like I said, I love what you're doing. I love the music you're putting out, and I can't wait for y'all to hear the music he got coming, man. This, man, this. 
It's, it's gonna be great, bro. And then, man, speaking on the clothing brand, man, because oh, yeah, you sure. got you got on your you got on your clothing brand right now, man. Explain to the world sure. about that, man, and how that came about. Because, man, that shit is hard. Yeah, gang. Look, bro. <laughs> so, uh, it's pronounced Degamon. And it's kids in French. Hey, hey, hey! I know it's they got more kids. I'm, I'm a, hey, like I'm, they, they got, got more. Hey, yeah, that, they hey got it just sounds so sweet. Yeah, hey, you hit a little shorty with that. They, they got more. Yeah, she, she gonna think you said. She gonna think you said I love you or something. You know what I'm saying? English, look I just like, said kids. In English it look. Like, I mean, my fault. In English it looks like this got me, but um, it's it's in French. It's pronounced they got more. The reason I chose um to go with this name and and everything like that, bro, is because. I already told you when I was in New Orleans, like about how my relationship with God developed and all that. And um, I ended up after them, like two incidents, like my boy telling me, you know, tell like, bro, like, you feel me? And in the steam room, I ended up asking my coach for a Bible. Like, coach, I need a Bible, you feel me? And um, the crazy thing is, before I asked him for a Bible, bro, I was like, not, I ain't gonna say I was scared to ask him, but I just felt like, Damn, bro, like, you feel me? He probably got something like, bro, he probably ain't even trying to really like, give, like, give me a Bible, right, bro. Right, 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 And then I kept, like, I asked him for a Bible. Uh, and the next day, he was happy to give it to me, though. You feel me? Like, I asked him, he was happy to give he, he said he was happy to give it to me. Next day, um, he forgot it. I asked him again. Next day, um, I think he forgot it twice, bro. And then I asked him again one more time, bro. And um, he, he ended up bringing me the Bible. It was a life application study Bible. I still got it to this day, bro. And, um... I really feel like it, it was one of the big, you feel me, steps in. I can almost on some on some stuff say it changed my like helped change me. You feel me, like because sure. the Bible, like bro, like me being able to get in that Bible, bro, and and the thing that was so cool, like it was the best Bible I ever got, bro. Picture that, like I was on some not finna ask him, and you feel me, and then it was the best Bible I ever got, and it really explained, like, um. Like, I was telling you, like, I could, like, I, there was stuff I was reading in the Bible, and I was like, bro, I don't even understand it. So at the bottom, it really, like, explains things that are going on, bro. And so I started getting the Bible, bro. And um, I came across a scripture, Matthew 18, 4. Whosoever, like, whoever humbles himself as a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And um, that's where I got uh, kids from. And so I wanted to, they got more. And that's that. so hard, bro. Like, <laughs> that's so hard because, like, you talking about kids and, like, say that scripture again one more time for me. You said, you said, yeah, the, whoever humbles himself as a child will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And, like, you talk about kids, bro. And, like, it's so crazy because, like, it say to get into heaven, you got to have a heart of a what? You feel me? Of a child. Thank you. Thank you. Of a kid. <laughs> Thank you. You got to be, and, like, a lot mm -hmm. of people don't understand Almost. that. And for those of you who might misconstrue it, I didn't say the mind. No, they really get. Super I, I didn't say the mind they, of a child. If you really God go. said to get into heaven, you got to have the heart of a child. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a teacher, I work around kids. Those mm -hmm. bro, kids are the most loving. Mm -hmm. They don't know no better. Mm -hmm. Man, come on now. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, you really got to love like a child, which mm -hmm. is hard to do because, you know, as you grow up, you know more. Mm -hmm. So to keep that loving spirit kind of go away, you know? Like, yeah. you, you always see but, people who were so loving as a child, but as they get older, life toss them and turn them around, and now they ain't smiling yeah. no more. But, see, but like God said, to get into heaven, you got to have a child. Hey, the right. heart of a child, and that's why I'm always smiling. Man. So that's why I always stay loving, bro. That's real, it, bro. It's crazy, the story, I love bro. that. It's I want, I want not to cut you, you off. I want that hoodie. Gang. I want that hoodie. Hey, look. Yeah, you know I need me one. Hey, look, no. uh, the story, though, really hard, too, though, because it was on some, the disciples, came, it was like on some, like, them trying to be the greatest in it. Like, you feel me? Like, the disciples came to him on some, who, who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And he said, whoever humbles himself as a child, you feel me? Came come to on. Jesus. He said, whoever humbles himself as a child, as this little child. That's a, a child. Come on. It's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Come on, bro. <laughs> Man, I, hey, I, I love that, bro. I That's... appreciate that, bro. The Bible got some crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but, bro. But, 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 you know, just to even put your mind in yeah, that, because, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, with the Bible, bro, you know, like, a lot of people don't read it, but, you know, like, ain't it crazy, too, bro, to see how, like, people always question the Bible, but I'm like, bro, everything you read in there be going on in real life. Bro, everything, everything going on in the world, diseases, everything, bro. It, it, it. Like, how can this be made up? Like, I, it's, all right, it's, 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 all right, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but man, like, it, it's crazy, man. Um, you know, but I, I love what the clothing line uh, stand for, bro. I appreciate um, that, brother. 
you know, um, let me ask you, bro. Um, just being being, you know, that you're brand new into music, bro. What's something that he need to work on when he get to float? Need to work on when he hit the studio, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even, bro. I don't, I don't even be on some like. I just really be going in there on some. I fuck with the, like I love the art, bro. I'm finna sit. You feel me, like. I ain't necessarily think about like stuff. I guess it's just finding. I don't know finding my sound. Finding your own lane, you right? Me, finding my sound. I guess on some shit, but I mean, I feel like I got my own. You feel me? Type, but like I ain't on some jocking. Like to me, no, you got your own flow, bro. Me, like that's sure. why I'm like, come on, like, bro. So it's like I don't know, bro. Like I ain't necessarily. I don't even really think about. Music, like, but I think that's what makes me like. That's why I, I want to stay like that, though, bro. Because I, that, I, that's why I love it so much, bro. Because I still like, I just respect, I just fuck with the art of it, bro. Like, that's I don't right. even think of it as like, like how I would the the football field, and, and you feel me, like, um. But and now, even though like my perspective on, um, I should have said how I used to think about the football field, bro. Cause my perspective on that changed, but like, I don't think of it as like working on, bro. I just go in there and you feel me, like, All right, and. Go ahead. No, you good, brother. And you talk about uh, your perspective changing on the football field. Like, what changed about that? It's just, I feel like, bro, like, um, I'm, I got to more of a, 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 um, a point to where, like, I'm able to have, like, like, bro, you know how we playing in Pop Warner, bro. The feeling that you have when you're going out there in Pop Warner, bro. Don't nothing matter. Nobody, you feel me? Right. It's just the, for the love of the game, bro. You paying to play football, you feel me? And um, I feel like, um, I ain't going to say my love for the game never was. You feel me? I always love it. Like, I have nothing, you feel me? I love the game, so I can't no more. But um, I definitely feel like being taken away from the game, bro, has made me appreciate it a lot more, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, now when I go out there, bro, I'm so in this, like, fam, like, and and it's more so probably because I thought of myself before, I probably thought of myself on some, I'm a football player, like, now, like, I'm a child of God, like, I play football, like, that's something I do, that's something I do just bro. like I make just, music, just like I, oh, that shit just the icing on the cake, people don't understand not, that, like, on. I'm not a football player, I'm a child of God, you feel me, I'm a, that's just, that's just something I do, you feel me, so, now that I'm more understanding of that, like, Football, like that's, football, so much. It's just like you know I mean? I'm on some, like yeah, my my whole perspective has that's, shifted. You know that's I mean? real. Let me ask you this, bro. Why do you think the uh, Saints let you go if you don't mind me asking? Nah, bro, you good. Fam. Um, because because you know me, like we back home. My my dad told me just two weeks ago. He said every time seventeen catch that damn ball, I think it's Eba. Like you know, <laughs> we had to you know he had to get ready to go crazy for you know grandma, oh. auntie. They all ready to go to like you know looking at it. I, I see Teddy Bridgewater calling you eBay, and you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like all these things, I see your name in the um you know newspaper thing like this, man. And I'm like, man, he for sure going. You know, he gonna be playing like he that guy. And then you know, Pop showed me some clips, and I ain't gonna mention those names, but you was killing them dudes. Yeah, you know them starters. Mm. I don't know, but I'm bro. gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that. But but why why do you think that was, bro? I don't know, bro. I can't I can't really call it, bro. I feel like um. Um, I feel like nobody can stop what God has for you, regardless. That's real. You feel me? Um, but I, I, it's not nothing like I feel like on some like I'm finna sit here and say I'm better than need. Right, right, right. That's should, why. Right. I should be there. Like, nah, I ain't never even on no hating nothing like that. Like, I'm. It's all love. I be hitting it. Like, you feel me? I be hitting some of my dogs. Like, bro, I see you. you feel me? Right. Like, you Come feel on. me? Like, I see you. Eating. I see you, gang. Like, keep going, bro. That junk inspiration. You feel me? Like, right. really inspirational, bro. When I see people doing what they supposed to be like, when I see people, you feel me? So it, it was never on none of that, bro. I feel like it was just the business of things, bro, and the way that things had to shake. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but really, I feel like it was just the business of things, bro. Because it, it's a whole business side of that that, you feel me? We don't really control, bro. So. Man, and that's the crazy part, bro, because like a lot of people don't understand like the the business side of, you know, but like 
I tell people like, you know, like the business side of, you know, just football, but like that's that's the business side of anything in life. Like, you know, like, and I think that's like the biggest thing. I remember my uncle tell me, you know, a long time ago, he was like, I got homies that could have been all pro, pro bowlers, but like you go to that next level and you lose your love for the game because it's not like it's not that like I listen, I watched Randy Moss 30 for 30, like he said the best times is gonna be high school football. Cause that's the, the and like he said that, not saying those might be the best career, best moments, but like you tight. Facts. With a group, yeah, you facts, all care facts, about facts. each other. We grew up together, things facts. like that. So, like, he said, like, those are the best times in football, like, versus, like, when you go to college, the league, like, it's all business now. You yeah, feel me? Like, definitely. and that is, a like, a shocker. You feel me? Like, I was talking, like, you know, because we human, too. Mm -hmm. So, just seeing certain things, seeing how the coaches operate, seeing how... You know, and I'm not saying this was for you or anything, but, like, just seeing how much power the coaches got. You know, like, I didn't see dudes who, you know, one dude started up at UAB, and I honestly thought he was the best. And, you know, I don't care who care, you know, say whatever, but I thought he was the best corner on the team. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just truthful. But he would always argue with the coaches and things like that. So you know how that go. You know what I mean? Like, I think he the best player, but, you know, too, like, them coaches got power, and they might not say the best things about you when them scouts come in. But in reality, every player knew who was the best player on that defensive side of the ball. But, like, just seeing those type of things, bro, just kind of make you like, oh, like, oh, do I even want to do this still? But, man, like, I applaud those. like Because, like, too, I, I hate to... Even be talking like that because man, football such a great game too, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't hate think it. none should, bro. I don't think none should ever take your love, like, bro. Like, you should never like if you love something, bro, and That's it's real. what you want to do. You should never stop doing it again. Like, no matter what, fam. Like, I was talking to my dog. I was talking to some of my one of my dogs the other day, bro. Like, if you love something, bro, and it's what you do, fam, right. and it's what you want to do, fam. God placed this dream in your heart, bro. And this is you hear me? This is or this is what you see yourself doing, bro. You should never stop doing that for what? Like, even if you want to be the best dishwasher, gang, in the world, if you want to be the best dishwasher live in the world, you feel me? Right. And that's just really what you want to do, fam, and go do that. But that's... I don't feel like nothing should, nothing should. Ever just take your love. Ever, and, I, and, I, and I feel that, bro. Um, and I think that's too, bro. That's why a lot of people realize it after they step away from it. Like you said, your love grew even more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because sure. I catch myself all the time like, God, like, and especially when I be like, it definitely in my training resumes and stuff, I'm like, God, just give me another chance. Like, just, because like, I'm like, man, I appreciate the game just so much more. Like, so much things. Because I even think to... You know, I even think, you know, I'm humble. I, I think to ways where I could have carried myself better. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have did this a little bit more, things like that. Not saying I didn't give it my all and things, but it's like, it's like, man, okay, if I can get a second chance, I would do it this way, mm -hmm. you know? But once again, bro, um, too, I had to learn, too, like, you know, my brother Devon, because I call him every once in a while. I, I need to get back on the field. He like, Eric Thomas didn't need a helmet to inspire the whole world. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, it's so true. Because, you know, me, I'm like, you know. But there's certain things, you know, but like you say, though, when you love something, bro, nobody should be able to take never. that love from you, bro. Like Nobody can never, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. Nobody could never tell me to, like, nobody's nobody's opinion of me could ever stop me from lacing up my cleats, bro. Nobody's True. opinion of me could ever stop me from going and getting in the studio and making music. You feel me? Like, because I'm not, I'm like, if you don't, it's, it's not really for you if you don't, you feel me? Like, first off, the, the reason that I, Put cleats on, and the reason I do any of this ain't is is to bring people to the kingdom of God in the right. first place. And so it's not like I'm chasing, chasing money, chasing fame, chasing fame. I'm not chasing none of that, bro. So I could really care less about any of anybody' opinions on what they. You know what I mean? So ain't nothing gonna ever stop the the dreams that God placed in my heart, bro. You know, That's real. Ever. That's real, bro. And I think, like, too many people get caught up, like you say, how people feel about them. How, you know what I'm saying? Like, people's opinions versus, like, just keep going, bro. And I think that, like, that goes back to, like, like you, like, we've been talking about God this whole time, but, like, that just go, like, that come from him, bro. Like, he bro. give you that thick skin to, like, not be bothered, bro, to, yeah. you know, respond accordingly, you know, to brush mm -hmm. things off, bro. I'm like, this come from God, because I'm like, this don't come from Trail, because, mm -hmm. oh, Trail be ready to go. Like, Trail, I be like, oh, y'all acting like, but God be like, nah, yeah. like, yeah. be yeah. loving, be this, be that. Like, so I'm like, it's real, though, just to see the, you know, the power of God. Let me ask you, bro, like, who was um who was, who was a player that was, like, very influential, like, or, like, you know, very impactful to, like, just be around? Because, I mean, like, you around Mike Thomas, who, like, to me, top three wide receivers in the NFL. Like, what was that like, bro? 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be trying to pick up just gang. Like, like, like I say, bro, I be so observant, bro. Like, right. Everywhere I go, though, like, I'm just like, I always been like that, though. Like, on some just, I ain't never really been like somebody that talk a whole bunch. Like, I just been chill. Like, I already just, know you, yeah. On some just observant. Like, I'm just peeping, you feel me? Like, just be me aware. Like, but I'm learning, though. Like, right. From every situation. It's crazy, bro, because, uh, like, I, I, like, to answer your question, bro. I, all them dudes down there, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, a lot of them dudes. Like, it would be wrong. Like, I can't Come on, sit here and name, I, I can, I can name all, can all, draw all these guys. It's, just, it's too many. It's so much. Like, I just told you the situation about picking up on some reading. Drew telling me he read, you feel me? Like, Other people, little right. stuff like that. But, like, I was real. trying to listen to everything, though. Trying to, every, like, trying to everything. Soak it up like a sponge. You feel me? Real, In yeah. every situation, bro. I was telling my dog, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I was telling my dog the other day, bro. Uh, I really be trying to observe in every situation, like, and people, like, bro, if I tell y'all, like, if I tell y'all some of the situations that I be, or some of the stuff I think about in my head, like, niggas think I'm weird on some shit. Right. But, like, no, I really be, like, I told them I was, um, oh, I was driving, bro, and I seen a whip in front of me, and um, I'm supposed to turn right, I'm staring at the whip in front of me, bro. I almost missed my turn. I'm like, see, bro, you worried about the wrong thing, but miss what you got going on. Come and on. Looking at somebody else, you're about to miss the blessing that you're about real. to miss something that you're supposed to be doing. You feel me? But like, even like little stuff like that, though, I'd be like, eh, you feel me? Like, <laughs> trying to learn stuff from, though, you feel me? Because, come on. I don't know, bro. I, I, I feel like the 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 more the the more you know, the less you have to get taught. Come on, that's real. What they say, if you knew better, you do better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No, man, I, I definitely, like, you know, it's like my dad always said, you learn two ways, either by going through it or from someone who's been through it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think that's, like, the, you know, the best thing, too, like you say, just to observe, learn more, like, learn. Like Drew Brees saying, I read. Like, you just planted an idea in my head. I'm like, shoot, I'm going to read a, I'm going to read some other religions, because then I can understand. Mm -hmm. I can understand just why you think this way. I can like, understand why. Know, like, because uh, I used to, like, it's, it's just on some understanding, like. I'm trying True. To, you feel me? That's why I be trying to talk to... So, so, so let me ask you, are you a reader? Like, do you read outside the Bible? Or do you read um, books, like, to gain knowledge? Because I think I that's know. very, like... I know my dad, like, when I would get in trouble, bro, he wouldn't whoop me, no nothing. He would take the TV away and just give me books, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, looking back on it, I'm like, bro, that was the smartest thing my dad could do, though, because, I, like I say, I was gaining knowledge. Mm -hmm. are, you, are, you, are you one of the people that read? I ain't going to lie, bro. I used to be on some, like, I'm trying to read a whole bunch of different books. But right now, like, lately, I've just been on some, I'm trying to read the Bible, bro, and finish it. Be because that's, that's the best book. That's the, that's the best book in the world. People forget that's the number one selling that's book in the good. world. <laughs> <laughs> number one. <laughs> but people don't know that, though. They think, <laughs> they think the you know, the pack and all these other books yeah. is, no, the Bible's the number Bible. one seller. Thank you. No, it's the best yeah, book. though, bro. I'm trying to finish the Bible. And then, uh, you feel me, once I, and finish it a couple times, probably, bro. True. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to, but uh, it's crazy, you know, I was reading Bro, we can sit and talk about the Bible all day, though, gang. But I was reading another scripture, bro, um, and it, it talked about um, what you just said and how um, seeking too much knowledge can destroy you, bro. Like, yeah. the, like I said, bro, the more knowledge, I mean, the more wisdom, the more grief, the more knowledge. You feel me? So, yeah. um, you gotta learn things to go through stuff. You gotta so seeking. Too much. I ain't saying like nah, bro. I be, I'm all for gaining as much knowledge as you right, can. Right, but bro. no, that's real. Like, go read. You feel me? Like go do. Like go read. You feel me? Go do. Like be the best version of yourself. You feel right. Me? Do whatever you got to do to become the best version of yourself. As for me right now, I feel like me reading the Bible is allowing me to become the best version of myself. Okay? So. That's what I've been on. <laughs> Man. That's what I've been on, bro. That's real. And then jumping into music, bro, I just want to ask, like, who who some people you want to work with? Like, like if you can do a feature with three three people, who would you pick, bro? Oh, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Me and my dog, uh, me and my dog Killer got some heat on the way, bro. Okay. Uh, yeah, me and my dog Killer got some heat on the way. Oh, I don't. I shouldn't say on the way, bro. But if you feel me, like. We got some heat. <laughs> and then uh, my dog, I, I ain't gonna say it's some people that I like just wanna work with. Um, but um, it's some people that like, I feel like if we get together, we're gonna drop some shit. So, yeah, that, yeah. That's, what, that's what I wanna hear. That's what I, give me I two. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, me and Killer, we got some heat on the way, bro. Um, me, I feel like, but it, 
killing if me and Glenn get on some shit too though, we gonna we gonna you feel me? We gonna right. Um Yeah, no game. <laughs> we'll snap, bro, because I already know I'm telling you, bro. We got yeah, gang. We got yeah. Man, I can't wait to hear it, man. He couldn't even finish it. He like, like just it like, know, yeah, yeah, like just know, like it's coming. You know what I'm saying, man? That's real, right there, E. And then, man, you know, um, man, one thing I respect about you too, bro, is uh, you know, bro, how you how you lead, bro. You know, I always see Zay with you. You know what I'm saying? It's been like that since you know. Yeehaw, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, so just bro, you know, just just talk about that, bro, the uh the family, bro, and just you know, leading in the right way. Cause like I said, I always see you with Zay, man, and I'm like, man, you can never, you know, like that relationship's so pure, bro. You feel Definitely. me? And just to see like y'all in the studio, Zay like, once again, like Zay like, nah, you ain't go hard enough, yeah. do it again. Definitely. You you ain't say, Oh bro, what you talking? You like it's all too, right, do it again. Yeah, it's that way, like, bro. You feel me? It's like, love, our, our like, relationship, bro. Pure, you feel me? Like. We go on the field. He gonna tell me that on the field though too. Like it's everywhere, right? Everywhere. Like he gonna tell like <clears throat> we go on the field, he see if he feel like I can run a better route, he's gonna tell me to take another rep. In the studio, if he feel like I can say something, he's gonna tell you. He gonna keep it straight up though. Like that's why I, like that's why you feel me, I love him so much, bro. Even like that's my br- he would be my brother even if he wasn't my mama child. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like for real. That's real. Like, <laughs> Cause he really like he he not bro. He he pure. You feel me? That's what I respect most about him, bro. Like the pure hearted, bro. That's why, that's why I try to keep myself surrounded with, bro. People that's just pure hearted, bro. Got the right intentions, bro. Focused on the right stuff, and trying to trying to do something. You feel me? That's real. Cause man, like you know, just even coming back home, I'm sure you've seen it. Like it's a lot of people still in the same position. Oh yeah, again. I'm talking about since high school. It's a, yeah, like it's bro. <laughs> you you know, like I I just it's you sick. know, and I, I feel like that's why people, bro, and I feel like that's why people, that's why a lot of people, uh, that's why a lot of people don't like, you, bro. That's why a lot of people won't like you, bro. That's why a lot of people be sick about what you're doing. Like, come on, it's cause fam, like, <laughs> but then you like they're upset. Because they see y'all were in the same position, right? right? And then you went and you did something better for yourself, or you went and you made you did made somebody your situation or did whatever, and they didn't do what you did, or they chose to squander away the opportunity. They chose to do something else, fam, and they'll sit there sick um, instead of supporting you, or sick instead of not not even necessarily sick at you. They more so mad at themselves. Mad at themselves, like, right? And and that's really what it be, but. And, and and it's so crazy too, you feel me? Cause right, like, you know, that that's and that's why they don't they don't support and you know, things like that. But it's like, bro, like it's you hit it on the nail, bro. Like they upset with themselves, bro. Yeah, they upset with life. Cause, the Cause it's like, how can you see somebody that you grew up with winning, bro, and, and be hating? You like, gotta understand, like, if you hating on me, like if you hate, like you really like when you really break it down. You almost hating on God, but this how though. Look, this how, and I ain't saying I'm God in no way, but you hating on God, cause look, I'm a kid from South Phoenix, feel me? Like literally, like, <laughs> ne- like South Phoenix, yeah? Park South, down like down the street, bro. Fam, there is no way, fam, that I would be here without without God. You remember there was there's no way, fam, do it. Throughout the entirety of all this, but there's no way that I would be doing any of this. I'm not saying necessarily I would be, you feel me? But I'm saying I wouldn't be here right now, physically sitting in this chair right now right. with you. You feel me? Like there's no way, man. And so God did that, bro. Let me ask, bro. So um, what was like? What would you say is like your funnest year, like football, bro? Like what would you say is like Ebus funnest? You know, cause like I said, I know you had so many, you know, great years, but like, what would you say is like the best time for you? Like, I don't think I had it yet, bro. That's yeah, real. It's yet to come, yeah, huh? Definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Man, I, I believe I believe so too. Like you said, like can't no can't nobody stop what God got planned yeah, for ever. you. Feel me? Like, so it's like I, I definitely. Man, great things in your future, bro. Like, I appreciate it. Come Definitely. on, bro. <laughs> what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard. <laughs> come on. 
man, mm-hmm. it's it, it's real, bro. You feel me? So, and then E, man, let me ask you, bro, because you're doing the you got you got the football going, you got the music going, we got we got the brand started now, man. What? What else do you see yourself doing, man? What else do you see yourself, you know, getting your hands in? Because, you know, I was always taught that, you know, a wealthy man, wise man, got like seven hustles. So, like, what's something else, man, you can see yourself doing? I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I'm really not really, like, uh, I'm not really chasing wealth, bro. Like, I'm, I feel like that's going to come, like, just Just on naturally some, on some more, right. My, like, my goal, like, bro, uh, and, and I, I shouldn't say I ain't chasing wealth, bro. Like, I'm chasing it. I'm not necessarily like the things that I want to do aren't really for like I'm I'm more so chasing after the kingdom, bro. To bring people to the kingdom, God. Touching and lives, I'm, and right? I'm, I'm chasing. I'm not even, and even when I am chasing, I guess wealth in a sense, I'm not chasing it for me. You feel me? I'm chasing it for my to family. change lives. To like Nip said, I, life, you feel me? I just like, want all this money so I can change this shit. Real like, talk. Yeah, if I was chasing True. it for me, bro, all that junk. Meaningless to me, bro. Come on, you know I mean? it's all meaningless, bro. Like when you really think about it, bro. And I mean, we could dig deep into it, bro. Whatever, but it's it, it's 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 really all meaningless, bro. And so, what make me what's gonna make me happy, bro, is to be able to help my people out, bro. That's real, for real, and help other people's people out. You feel me? So that's what I'm trying to do, bro. Um, I don't necessarily have anything specific. In mind right now, bro. I'm really working on um, what I got work, what I got going. Um, this clothing it took a long, it took a a little bit of time, bro. You feel me? Because I really wanted to do it with some. You feel me? I remember. Like, I, I remember. Really wanted yeah. To do it. You feel me? So, um, and then I'm I'm looking to uh, sign a contract soon. Hopefully, God willing, I should say. Um, whether I'm gonna just leave it at that, and then. Um, yeah, bro. So I'm really just looking to enhance the kingdom of God, bro. Any way I can, bro. Just continue to allow me to And through whatever gifts that I have, bro, that may that be the way. That's real, bro. And man, if y'all don't know how good God is, man, ain't it crazy? Like when you when y'all watch this interview, like I want y'all to listen to how many times God was brought up. How many times he was, you know, talked about? Because like we were People just talking about. Be mad, bro. Come on, they're gonna be mad, bro. People like be mad about this because, one. Because <laughs> they're not gonna understand. They're gonna be like, ah, he ain't talk no football. They're he, be mad, like. he he wasn't he was he wasn't talking about this and the trail asked him about this moment and he talked about God. You feel me? Talked about but God. Come on, I really, bro. bro. Before I came on here, though, I prayed, bro. It's crazy, bro. I'm telling you, God, bro. I'm like, bro, God, just use me how you want. Like, you feel me? Come this on, because I'm telling you, bro. The way I seen. Like before, see, before I, I, that's what I'm saying, bro. It, it was a blessing not being able to come on, be the first person to come on your podcast, bro. Um, and because before I didn't even understand like the true purpose of, of everything that you had going on, bro. Like being able to grow myself, bro, and then being able to see like the movement that you got going, bro, and, sure. and, and the way that, the way that you, the way that, the way that people are responding to. To the way people are, you feel me? To your podcast and stuff like that, bro. and and whether it's one life or whether it's a hundred lives or whether it's, you feel me? Come on, if bro. you have the opportunity to change one life, bro, then that's what you should do, bro. So I really, I feel like it was a blessing that um, I had the opportunity to really wait. You had the opportunity to wait, and then we was a lot, we was able to get on here at the perfect time. You feel me? Like right. really, at the perfect time. And that's real, bro. And like you was just talking about like the movement, how everybody's responding. I think that's been like the, you know, like the craziest thing, like the way people respond and just, uh, you know, supporting the movement. Um, <laughs> it's all like you say, bro, just all God, bro. You feel me? Just touching lies. Like, that's why I tell people, like, that's why I started this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the word resiliency, you know, um, I got something coming, right? I ain't going to speak too much details on it. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know, when me and dude was on the phone, like he was like, I love your message because... At some point in life, everybody has to be resilient. Yeah. I don't care who you are, yeah. from the smallest to the oldest, dog. You're gonna have to go through some For show. Come on, bro. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to show you that fight in you, feel me? So life going, bro. It's going, yeah, you're gonna get tested for sure. Come on, bro. And like you said, like just that. And that's what I do it for, bro. Like people like enjoy oh, it like, though. I enjoy this, bro, because like the people struggles. Rejoice in them, bro. Come on, bro. Rejoice in your struggle because that's it, bro. Remember the dark days for there will be many, bro, because that's what really make you who you with, boy. When you really think about it, 
But when I really think about it, I shouldn't say, you hear me speak for everybody. So when I really think about it, bro, what really made me like who I am, you feel me? It's everything that I had to go through to, you feel me, to get here and everything that I'm going to have to go through to get to where I'm going is what's going to make me who, Come you feel on. me? So, uh, bro, I'm thank, bro, I really be like, be thankful that you have another day, bro. God right. made the bad as well. God made the good as well as the bad. You feel Come me? On. So, he, he made one as well as the other, fam. So, Come on. I mean, and, you, and you can't take one without the other, for Thank real. You. Like, it's like wins and losses. They both come. Good and bad, they both come. And, like, I was just going to say, like you were saying about the touching lies, I'm like, people don't understand. That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like, Trail want to be back in the scene, this and that. Yeah. I don't wanna, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit for none of that, dog. Like, I didn't been in that light before. I didn't. Like, I don't, I don't care nothing about that. Like, I'm just trying to touch lies. Like you said, well, there's one. Two, maybe three, you feel me? Like, I'm like, that's what I do it for, you feel me? Yeah, and facts, when it's man. pure and it's genuine, you know, God gonna bless that, bro. Man. He gonna make sure you prosper, man. you feel me? Because like you say, like, it's not like you seeking riches and you want this, that's but like God say, it, I give you every desire of your heart if you seek me, you feel me? Like, but that's the thing, like, I, I showed the homie that, but I said, did you see what he said first? You gotta seek him first. Mm. Most people don't wanna do that. They mm. want everything in the desires that's of their heart without with. having to seek him. God not gonna give you that. And that's then you wonder why when you pray, your blessings ain't coming. <laughs> God don't hear you <laughs> What you say He hard to Man he close his ears And go to sleep man You don't even believe What you praying for You know what I'm saying So man it's definitely uh, It's definitely real man E but man You definitely somebody man A lot of people um Look up to man I was just so thankful Just you know Just be able to sit down With you because like This definitely gives uh, everybody a new perspective and it also gave me a new perspective because you know I'm I'm coming with the mind frame like man we're going to see it we're going to talk football he's going to say some of his best yeah. moments yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking no, like to man we've we, we been talking about God and how he didn't change bro. lives and and this is more powerful. And it's like we say, like powerful, a lot of people bro. not going to understand this because like people don't want to hear that encouraging message. I think that's yeah, why a lot of people get tired wanna, of me sometimes. No, they like, they like, man, Trill, shut up, man. You always trying to... You can me, but hear I'm me a, get on here and talk about come on. sex moments and everything and all that. But bro, this is what this is probably what people needed to hear on Spirit. No, somebody, for a fact. It's probably somebody I needed to out hear there this. Come that on, needed bro. to hear I, something. I needed this. And if not, then even if it's only you, then gang, then... Mission accomplished, bro. Come Somebody on. grew from it. You feel Come me? on, so, bro. One of us, and you said definitely. I definitely needed to hear everything you said. You feel me? So, mission accomplished. If we the only two people that grew from it, if nobody else in the world feel what we saying, bro, Come we on. the only two people that grew from it. Mission accomplished, man. Come on, and that's man, and that's real right there, e, um Man, like I say, bro, great, great interview, bro. Uh, man, congrats on the clothing line, man. Appreciate um, you, my brother. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate man, you, bro. it's, Appreciate it's you real, live. man. So let me ask you before I let you go, man. When when the next single coming out, man? Uh, I see you dropped yeah. that that Mike Jr. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got that out Rest of in here. Peace, my dog. That man, real talk Rest though, bro. Peace, bro. Rest in peace no, to Mark. No. Like you know, like I was just saying that you know, Kitty can attest to this. Like I said, every day he like, man, I want to be like y'all, man. So and he meant that too, bro. So you know, it's just, you know, rest in peace to Mark, man. Um, for real. And then um. You know, you got that needle in the haystack, man. Um, you know, you, man, y'all doing y'all thing, man. Like, I remember, like, I saw I was in the studio for that one. So, hey, you know, hey, I already knew all the lyrics. I'm like, hey, hey right, go, baby. Hey, so you got that Mark Jr. Um, you come, got that needle come, in the haystack. Come you got on, that, bro. Yeah, no, I feel you. Got that out of here, bro. So, yes, sir, I mean, you know, are you going to drop more music? Are you going to wait? Or, you know, how's it going? Um, No, I'm going to definitely drop some more for sure. Um, I don't really... And you feel me? I'm focused on like I be really I be in some real life. You feel me? So uh, when I drop, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna you know, drop when he feel like it. Like on some drop. Come on, bro. That's that's real, bro. That's real right there. Mm -hmm. And it's funny too. If I let you, I I gotta talk about like the I do the Jay Z or Wayne man. You gotta see his response, bro. Hold on. <laughs> he said it, bro. He said Jay Z what? the greatest businessman. Business. Mm -hmm. Rapping, there's no comparison, bro. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, even I would love to hear that one, so. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm biased. I could be, I ain't gonna, people could say I'm biased, though, but, bro, come on. Wayne, Wayne birthed us. Wayne is, Wayne. Come on, bro. So, man, that's real, Ebro. Um, 
once again, bro, thank thank you for, you know, just coming out, bro. Um, too, like I say, man, this was definitely um something I needed, bro. You feel me? Like definitely something that um, like I said, a lot of people might not understand, but you know, you need it, bro. You yeah, feel bro. me? Like, like I say, once again, man, hear how many times God was shared in this conversation. And like I said, people don't like God, so they definitely ain't gonna like this. You know what I mean? But you know, I'm going to keep on ministering. I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm going to keep sharing the message because, like you say, it's them few that do need to hear it, bro. And yeah. like I said, so many people respect you and look up to you. So, I mean, a lot of people are going to tap into this. And then just to see that from your perspective, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to change lives, bro. Definitely so, lives. man, I, I thank you, bro. E but man, for, you know what I'm saying, just coming out, bro. And it was a great one, bro. Man, for <laughs> sure, lie. That junk is like, bro. Come on. Okay, bro, I appreciate you, man. Man. My dog. We did it, sir.